primarily due to the ownership and control of resources and corporations in this country. Uh, not only does the money go out of the country, but they charge very big fees for what they do in this country. And again, it's called transfer pricing. Uh, the, the Ford Motor Company admitted not so long ago to overcharging Canadians by, by billions of dollars for things that cost much less. And why did they do it? Because it was easy for them to do it, because they could. Because they were dealing with a parent company and a subsidiary. You think the subsidiary boss was going to uh, complain about what his head man was, was talking about? The answer is, when you've got that kind of relationship, you're going to get finagling going on much to the detriment of our country. Yeah. And um, in your opinion, who should be the first spenders of newly issued Canadian currency? Uh, Bay Street, Ottawa, or Canadian families along the lines proposed by economist Arthur Kitson, or a great Canadian, former Vancouver Mayor Jerry McGeer? <laughs> You've got me there. I, 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 I hate the incredible distribution of income in this country. And that's one of the things that Occupy has yeah. done a really good job on. It's ridiculous that the one percent gets so such a large percentage of the money that's generated in this country. It's ridiculous and unnecessary. It shouldn't be allowed. And one of the ways we're going to change it is through a proper taxation system, yeah. which we don't have right now. Here, here. Here, here. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. I know. Thank you so much, and uh, it's a pleasure meeting you today. Uh, my name is Mina, Mina Wong, and uh, I run as an um, NDP candidate at the last uh, federal election in Vancouver South. And uh, what I am interested or worried, really, is uh, the fragmented uh, um, um, progressive sides, and uh, I think that's why what leads to what Canada, uh, where we are right now. And I really want to see, uh, listen from you, how people can work together. Because only by working together we can take back Canada. And um, people who share, we may belong to different parties, we may belong to different groups, organizations, but I, I think that when we share our similar values, when we build understanding, then we can work together. And uh, I don't know if you're aware of uh, one of the NDP federal candidate, Nathan Collins' idea of uh, um, um, joint nomination between different parties and uh, except in all the concern, conservative writings and then so um, the parties will have uh, the, you know um, one candidate against the conservatives and uh, do you think that's a, a good way of doing it or do you have any other suggestions as to how to work these things together now this is part of my question so I have a second question. Well I've, uh, I've had the wonderful opportunity recently of talking with uh, Nathan, and uh, even more important to me, talking with Kennedy Stewart, who I had never met before. And I think this guy is a star. I think he's incredibly bright. Uh, of all the people talking about um, natural, natural resources and pipelines and tankers, I've never heard better stuff than from Kennedy Stewart. He's a graduate of London School of Economics, NDP, Denver Brown, from where? Burnaby? Burnaby Douglas. Yeah, he's a terrific guy. Uh, I, this is where the refinery is. I put the, uh, exactly. Uh -huh. I, I, I'd be happy to put the country in his hands. But uh, the question of running joint candidates, a lot of people in the NDP and Liberal Party have talked about that. And uh, you're not going to like my answer. My answer is that it's never going to happen. I know the Liberal Party well enough to know it will not happen. I know the NDP well enough to know and the trade unions well enough to know it will never happen. So we, we, we can try it, but I don't think it will ever happen. I think we've got to look at other solutions. Well, the way I see it, you know, we have all these people here tonight and uh, uh, Leap Now has uh, a survey out and uh, apparently, what was the percentage? that uh, want people to work together 
and uh, have joint nominations, and uh, and they also have uh, that you can click right away to to join a party. You know, liberal, conservative, uh, liberal, NDP, liberal, and uh, Greens. And uh, and so, unfortunately, they won't have more parties, which I would like to see. And uh, but um, um, that's one area like that uh, we can actually get involved right now, rather than you know going away and not to participate in a political process. So we can join a party, whatever you you know your preference, and then right now the NTP is having a leadership race, and then the deadline for members is on the 18th of February. So if you can you can become a, a, a member to, to vote for the next leader, which I would like to see you know people participate and then here and get to know everybody and uh, and get involved. And that's one way of getting involved. Another way to get involved, I believe, I, I was born in China. So sitting here to, you know, hear of the, 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 the new development and, you know, Harper's trip to China and all that, and how the, the whole situation developed in, in the environment and the business and the human okay, rights. Let's, let's ask you to be brief now, please. Yeah. And it's frustrating because uh, um, there's a lot of people like me coming, you know, grew up in China, but then made their home in Canada. But they don't understand the Canadian values. And uh, I would like to see, like I, I was lucky enough to have Canadians who brought me into their homes, shared their backyard, a beautiful country. I worked with uh, uh, Save Our Rivers and all environment groups. But I want everybody here, sitting here, to have a chance to talk to their neighbors. Because, uh, okay, you've gone on uh well enough and you've made a lot of good sense and you're a very good speaker. I'm surprised you didn't get elected in the last election. I'd like to have seen you in the House. I, uh, I'll give you an interesting idea. Go to the next meeting of Occupy and see if you can get them to agree on only one candidate for writing in the future and see what the reaction would be. Thank you. Next speaker, please. We can't agree on much. <laughs> My name is Peter Marcus. Uh, uh, just a comment and then speak into the mic. Uh, just a comment and then a question. Um, first of all, I think that the human rights situation in Canada is going to be, is uh, very bad. Uh, I mean, just take a look at the, the Aboriginal uh, situation, and they're going to criminalize the uh, Aboriginals as, uh, even more because they've got they passed a new crime bill. And they're building bigger prisons. And they're building bigger prisons, and they're going to be privatized. So uh, uh, that plus uh, militarizing of the economy, no, uh, sending uh, our troops to war for. Uh, this, uh, Species regions. Um, what is your question? So, my uh, opinion: uh, What do you think of this country moving in uh, in the direction of a military police state? Because that's the direction it's going under Harper. Well, uh, there's a lot of people here in this country that would agree with you. They're afraid that Stephen Harper is going to become extreme. He's way over on the right already. Extreme right wing. Very authoritarian, and really, they really give a damn about the way the rest of the people feel. And I, I consider him to be, as I said before, an extremely dangerous, dangerous man. And I think we've got to get rid of him as soon as possible. 